Hello everybody and welcome back to Enter the Gungeon Hard Mode. We are back again. Today I was going to do something special. I was going to play some challenges that, uh, that never named sent over. Um, because he's made some basically Isaac style challenges for the game. But he failed to tell me how to activate them before he went to bed. So I have no idea how to activate them at all. Maybe I'm just being dumb and it's super obvious, but I can't seem to find it. Also, in this version, he's added a bunch of his different um, items into the shops, so you can actually purchase them for a Gemini credits. I'm not going to buy them yet because I'm only on a temporary version of the mod, but that's a cool thing to, to look forward to that's coming up, uh, being able to actually buy items. And maybe we'll do like a new fresh save file with uh, with some mods that have like unlocks and had like buying things for hegemony credits in them the only thing i'm a little worried about with that is i wonder whether they'll show up in the natural progression of these shops or do you have to have bought everything before they show up because otherwise there's not as much point in doing it um from a fresh save file it's just a nice addition onto an already completed save file to use your hegemony credits um but there'll be like a, a bunch of other unlocks as well and maybe once hard mode's fully complete, we've had a play around with that. We'll throw in the hard mode towel, at least for a one series or so, and jump in. Anyways, uh, I'm going to play as... Let's play as Lamy. Why not? Uh, I can't remember the last time we played as Lamy, but either way. Let's jump on in and just cry, just just get in, a, get in a run and see what we can do. I think it was actually quite recently we played Lamy. Oh, well. Either way, she's fun. I enjoy her. I'm hoping you guys too. You guys too. You guys do too. Uh, well, let's just jump in and see what we can do in this hard mode run. I would have loved to have done one of those challenges, you know. I really would. Honestly, I'm only saying this to make Nevername feel guilty when he watches this. Um, but <laughs> I'm glad that he's getting some sleep. That dude does not sleep enough. Um, oh my god. But yeah, uh, unfortunately, we'll be for really this room is a bit hectic. Uh, we'll be foregoing those challenges at least for a little bit, probably until the next episode or maybe one after, depending on how many I end up recording here. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. But yeah, uh, I, I'm very much looking forward to playing those. There's uh, some very interesting ones that will be virtually impossible on hard mode. One of them is all enemies are randomized, so you can get any enemy in any area, which just sounds like fucking hell. Um, and the, a recipe for disaster, but I kind of love it. Uh, another one is all enemies are doubled. And one more is the player is invisible. Ooh, Huntsman Shotgun, pretty good. Um, yeah, player is invisible. That one sounds really interesting. I mean, it depends. If it makes the gun invisible as well, I'm guessing it will. Um, then, it, yeah, it'll definitely be difficult. But as, as long as you can still see your projectiles, it'd be good. If it makes the projectiles invisible too, holy shit, that's going to be a hard challenge. But yeah, uh, <laughs> doubled enemies and uh, randomized enemies on hard mode. That's going to be a little tough. I imagine that's going to be quite the spicy challenge, to be honest. Quite the spicy challenge indeed. So, of course, having the Huntsman here, a great shotgun in itself. Very uh, ammo efficient for the amount of damage it does. But also, the better thing about it, really, we can destroy bullets with it if we want to with its reload. It's a little hard to do. Uh, you got to be quite good with your timing to, be, to make sure you destroy them effectively. But I still think we can get some good usage out of it. The reload is not quite as widespread. There you go. I got hit trying to do one there. And again, because I'm dumb. It's not quite as widespread as the fight saber, but it's still relatively useful. Um, I'm just hoping we can get some healing after my uh, massive blunder there and getting hit multiple times in a row. Not good hits at all. Good. Uh, do you know what? I'll just open it. Uh, oh, we got the quest log. Nice. Quest log's pretty good. Uh, we use it. It gives us a quest. If we can complete it, it'll give us a new quest. We get different awards based on what the quest is. So the quest at the minute is use one blank. Of course, we're not going to do that yet until we actually fight our boss. There's no point wasting a blank just to complete a challenge. Um, but yeah, it gives you loads of different varieties of things. Some of them are harder to do. Some of them are easier. Some of them are things that you'll just do naturally anyways, like using a blank. Uh, there's an additional blank, so we'll just use it so we can get a new quest. So for this one, we got ammo. Really good. Very happy about that. Uh, in fact, I might ammo extend a little bit. Just ammo extend to this one extra room. And then get the most out of it as we possibly can. Because this this shotgun, we're definitely going to need as much ammo as we can for the bosses. Uh, so I'd rather have it full when we go fight the boss. And that means using it in other rooms, extending it a little bit, grabbing it again, and away we go. So now we've got to refill it like a normal active item, then we get another quest. Looking forward to that. 
yeah, there's some really cool ones you can get. And as you can see, the rewards, they're pretty nice. Uh, so coming into the boss on full ammo, probably won't be able to use the shotgun uh, reload too much for safety. But we can rely on it when we're in a pinch. For the most part, I'm just going to be relying on actually dodging the enemy. Um, and making sure we don't get hit. Like, naturally. But, like I said, we'll be able to do some bits and bobs here. This guy's got a rad gun. There you go, we got one. So we'll give ourselves a new quest here. Oh, we got another quest reward ammo. And maybe we completed a quest there. No, we didn't. We got buy two items. That must be a bug. Uh, we somehow managed to complete a quest without completing it. It was buy two items. We definitely haven't bought two items. That must be something to do with being in a boss room or something, maybe. But there you go. We managed to get a flawless. The shotgun definitely helped. And we unlocked the Chaos Ruby. So this is what I was saying. A lot of the items I've unlocked, which means we'll probably see a lot less items from Never Names Pack. And one of the big concerns for me, at least... Oh, we started with the unfinished gun. One of the big concerns for me, at least, um, with this uh, was that... Why did we start with the unfinished gun, actually? Uh, was the on hard mode, a lot of the unlocks are going to be kind of unobtainable, or at least very hard to obtain. Uh, but... That's not a huge concern for Never Named. I really don't think he should cater too much for the people playing hard mode. Uh, the only thing I'd say is if he's feeling really generous, just add an unlock all command in. But he's kind of expressed the, the want to not do that so far. Which, again, I understand. It's his mod pack. Do what you like. Uh, we'll take this and grab ammo for this bad boy. Cool. Um, so our quest log was buy two items. Let's buy two items. Ah, oh, we can't quite afford two items. Unfortunate. Uh, but anyways, let's head on to the next floor. Feeling pretty good so far. This is a this is a good start to a run. I mean, any run that starts off with a hard... I mean, I've reiterated this sentence a thousand times already. Any hard mode run that starts with a flawless is a good run for me. And also, we get the Turtle Shell Brick Breaker. My, uh, my turtliest of friends in terms of weaponry. You've got to have some Turtle Shell firing for the turtle melon. Ooh, we can remove some curse here as well. Uh, we do have some curse from the huntsman. We'll save that for later in the floor though, because for one, it does cost. We might want to buy some stuff from our shop rather than remove curse. And also, ooh, bit, bit tricky. Uh, also, we might end up gaining more curse this floor from various means. So we might want to remove a little bit more of it. And the fountains, I believe, are a single use. So we want to get all the curse we can before we use it. Good. Uh, we'll use our huntsman for this guy. Should kill him a little quicker. I did actually manage to get rid of most of the shots that were coming at me there. But I think we have a pretty like a pretty good combination of items here to help us out. Um, I'm going to... I'm actually baffled that that hit me there. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, I'm going to try and be conservative with my huntsman shots just because we want to use that for our boss. But I will use them from time to time. Here we get flak bullets as well, which is rather nice to see. Maybe want to buy a key first. I'm not sure. We'll see. Uh, but honestly, flak bullets are pretty fun. I, I always find flak bullets more fun than useful. And they're always something that I like picking up when I see them. But they're not actually that good. Uh, blooper? Yeah. Blooper's good, but its reload is so unbelievably slow that it hurts my inner soul. Um, unfortunately, but it's good enough. It's just, it has insanely slow reload is all. But the damage itself kind of makes up for it, and it's yet another gun for us to use for room clearing, I think. I did unfortunately pop that barrel a little early. I was hoping to get a few book kills with it. Good, good. That guy did take some of the damage from that book there. Look at these guys go. Nice one. And we get an extra chest here as well. So we might want to go for keys rather than the uh, the flak bullets, you know. Because we do have some um, some opportunity here to open a few extra chests. Okay, so we're going to get behind here. I'm really, like, surprised that this veteran that managed to hit me didn't die from that initial burst of bullets. Really hoping that would have got him, but apparently not. Reloaded at the wrong time there. Let's get in here real quick. Should have been able to kill him with that barrage, but hey ho. Good, good. And also, I mean, we don't need to yet, but there's possibility of us wanting to buy HP. Good, good. Being very cautious right now. Okay, nice. I don't know what happened there, but the ghost seemed to hit the wall and, like, a bonk off the wall, and that dealt damage, which I didn't actually know was a thing. 
Maybe, maybe it's not, and I just saw something in my brain. But it looked like he bonked off the wall, and the the, the bonk dealt damage. I am uh, taking some dumb damage right now as well, so maybe we will need to buy HP. Get in the pit, you. Definitely want to open that. Okay, so I think we've definitely changed our priorities. I think we want to be buying... Okay, there isn't HP available, so there goes that plan. Um, we'll definitely open this up. Armor Synthesizer is okay. Let's see what our quest reward is. Flip five tables. We can easily do that. Uh, we've probably already passed through a few tables. That we haven't flipped. One, two, three, four. There's four. And there's five. And we get ourselves some more ammo for that. Uh, I'll take it for this. Why not? And we'll go in here. See what we got here. Gun muncher. Not super useful. I'll admit. Not super useful. Uh, but there you go. There's our reward. Some of them, like I said, some of the quests are very, very easy. But it just adds a little bit of variety to the game. Um, and we'll probably go for this. Do we want to try and save for flak bullets or do we want to open the chest? I think we do better opening the chest, to be honest. I think opening the chest is maybe not likely to give us something better, but it's likely to give us something that's more useful to us on hard mode. Honestly, yes. I would I would argue that that is more useful than flak bullets. We need ammo more. We had trouble in the previous episode um, with just having absolutely no ammo. So seeing seeing something that doesn't directly ooh what that eh, whoa, 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 demon demon spawn no what the fuck ah, no, ah, ah. run 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 what the fuck's going on ah demon spawn <laughs> what the fuck just happened to me ah oh my goodness that, that thing came from hell to seek out vengeance on me. Never again, please. Never again. No! No! Okay, so we've learned something new today. Don't ever fucking blank with one of those guys in the room, because he will shit down your open neck hole. Holy flibble sticks, that was intense. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. That was... That was absurd. <laughs> what the hell does this game think it's playing at? <laughs> that is a bug. Quite a bad one that I've never experienced before, surprisingly. I don't know if it's a hard mode bug, or maybe it's something in NN's pack interfering with it. I, I really don't know. Really don't know. But we, we start anew, we start afresh, we go again. We see what we can build up this time, and we get immediately killed by a grenade. Goddamn grenades. Yeah, keep pushing forward. I love this pistol that Lamy gets. It's so good. Okay, got the grenades out the way. Managed to actually kill that shotgunner without even noticing. Damn it, unfortunately, Mr. Boom Time didn't get everyone. Like I was hoping he would. Okay, we'll get you first, so then we can just deal with you. Unfortunately, you're in kind of an annoying spot here, but we should be okay. Good, good. We got some HP there, nice. We are speeding through this at the minute. Absolutely speeding through. This guy's big. Don't worry, we can deal with Beak. And um, we get us our first chest. Oh, baby. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. I'm feeling good. Because we got Gunda Fury. In case you didn't know, Gunda Fury is pretty OP. And by pretty OP, I mean it's quite literally the most powerful gun in the entire game. Especially once it's on max upgrade. It's absurdly good. This thing can annihilate the entire Gungeon army without blinking. Without batting an eyelid. This thing's absurd. I mean, it doesn't mean that we're going to win because we still have boss DPS cap to deal with, so it can deal as much damage as it wants, but it's still going to take us a while to kill bosses. But it does mean it's going to be a bit easier. It does mean we're going to be quite easily quite easily hitting that HP cap. I'll buy the uh, the key now, just in case uh, it's a fused chest. Oh my god. 
And we got Mr. Egg. Crackling egg. I can never remember what crackling egg does. Um, has a certain appeal, don't break it. Uh, this mysterious egg was worshipped for thousands of years by a long lineage of cats. Some say that if you listen closely, strange phrases can be heard from inside the shell. I can never remember what it actually does. Maybe when we get hit, we have a chance of dropping it and it gives us an item or something. It's something along those lines. So, one, one sad thing about this gun is you do end up wasting a lot of ammo on bosses. Because it's very hard to tap fire it effectively. And it hits DPS caps so insanely easily. You probably won't get a flawless just because this boss is very hard. I really have trouble flawlessing this boss, but there's a chance we got it. We got it. I'm hoping we get ammo from this guy right now. If not, I'll be big sad. I am big sad. But we got bundle of ones, which is very good also. Uh, quickly check our shop out. Because we do have 34. We might be able to buy ammo here. Yes, we can. Okay, let's go. Uh, this gun, like I said, will, will dominate all that stands in our way. Essentially, rooms, as long as we have Gunda Fury ammo and no longer even really combat, they're more just a point and click adventure game that, that contains virtually no danger. It's brilliant. Ooh, okay. Let's uh, let's definitely extend that. Just so we can um just so we can get an extra room's worth of ammo out of this gun. Yeah, you guys, we, we know the damage you can deal. Okay, sadly, we only got 30 ammo out of that, but 30 is better than nothing. But yeah, as you can see, we're gonna have a relatively easy time. With this. Gunda Fury, probably not something that we should have on hard mode, honestly. I'm trying my hardest to tap shoot this thing. It's pretty difficult to tap shoot effectively. Okay, so we did get hit because we um, were dumb, essentially. Let's extend this again. In case you didn't know how to extend things, by the way. Walk out the room, walk back in, shoot the rat once. And you can travel to every adjacent room uh, without the ammo being taken by the rat. But only adjacent ones. If you go any further. Excuse me. I have told you a lie, apparently. Ugh. My fault. My, my mistake. This doesn't count as an adjacent room because this is technically a room. As you can see on the map, this here is technically a room. So it may look like I've lied to you there. I haven't. Just the game the game does things in weird ways sometimes and box up what I'm saying. God damn it, game. Please give us ammo in the shop. There is ammo in the shop. We've also got Witch Pistol and Big Iron. Big Iron is definitely something we want uh if we can manage to get our hands on that it would give us the uh the witch synergy with the bundle of wands which is real good we could also get that by buying the pistol as well pretty cool to see two items that are part of the synergy and a very strong one at that in the shop we don't need it so i'd rather get ammo if that's what we need but hey her so let's try and do that again shall we so we go in here we come back in we shoot the rat once then we go in here this room's got no combat, so it doesn't matter. Sad, sad times. See, they're the situations where ammo extending obviously doesn't really work. If you get a room that just has no combat. But yeah, as you can see, we're having we're having a relatively easy time so far with uh, with all of this. We're kind of um, walking through the game. I would prefer to get uh, passive items really at the moment. Right, so Big Iron is 78. It's unfortunate we're not going to be able to afford that, most likely. Uh, we don't need to buy ammo yet. We'll buy ammo after our boss fight. But let's uh, let's go in on this guy. This guy we probably won't get a flawless on just because it's really hard to. But one good thing is we can deal so much damage to the body parts, because the body parts do not have a DPS cap, that we can stop him from shooting most of his bullets. As you can see, we've basically nullified most of his attacks by now. And he's forced. Nice, nice. No ammo, unfortunately. We get this thing, which I can never remember how this works. But I, if I remember correctly, we don't want to use it. 
Um, reload to the current floor. Uh, a cheap plastic knockoff of the gun that can kill the past. Um, the gun that can wound the very recent past. <laughs> so, that lets us replay a floor. We don't need to use that for any particular reason at the moment. I'm just going to buy my ammo and be on my way. But as you can see, as long as we get ammo on a floor, we have essentially won. <laughs> this this thing is... um, It's... It's so absurdly broken, it's it's kind of nuts. <laughs> Pretty much a lot of the things that they added in the Farewell to Arms DLC were, were a bit too good. Uh, and this is clearly one of those examples, one of those times. There was a lot of stuff they added that was just bonkers OP. Um, and yeah. As you can see, enemies basically don't get time to shoot anymore. So... This is a situation where we could definitely see ourselves getting hit. We didn't yet, but certainly the opportunity did arise. And there you go. Enemies that, that, that are going to spread bullets all over the room or bounce or shoot instantly as soon as we walk in, they're going to be the, the enemies we have a lot of trouble with. Hey, Spectral Boy. How you doing? Um... Not yet. We'll come back to you, though. Pretty good. Okay, I don't care that I got hit there because I didn't get hit by a jammed bullet. More important. But yeah, we're hoping for ammo drops, really. And there you go. We just got a turkey, which does give us ammo. That ammo is getting bonked around like crazy. This is one where I will do an extender as well if we can manage it. Right, so go in here, come in here. And then hopefully we can extend that because these rooms are actually adjacent. This one is not, okay. That doesn't count because of this cheeky little thing on the minimap. This is technically a room, so the adjacency doesn't count. I never actually knew it worked like that, but at least now we do. Uh, ooh, chicken flu. Demoter bullets, both good stuff. Chicken flute would be fantastic, but I just, I doubt we're going to get the funds to make that work. Excuse me, sir. There you go. And of course, we're getting more money than usual on hard mode because we're killing things without getting hit. In case you didn't know, if you manage to kill things without getting hit, they give you more casings. Whenever an enemy hits you, that specific enemy now drops less casings. The champions are the only thing that are even slightly holding up to this. This is just mental. Just mental. Uh, right. Chicken flute was 78, right? <sighs> Something like that. Ooh, I will, I will grab this real quick. Honestly, not bad. Not bad at all. A little bit of HP. Probably not worth a blank, but hey ho. Especially now that we just got more HP there. Good, good. Get him before they shoot. Is that a mimic? Did I see you move? I don't think I did. Let's go do our boss before we decide on anything. We've got a lot of opportunities to get stuff here. What we might want to do instead of buying... Chicken Flute's 91. Okay, so let's let's buy a key, open up one of these chests, and then do the game. Really? You're green? Okay, maybe not then. Maybe we just grab this. Oh, we don't have, enough, we don't have a key for that, unless there's another key for sale. I don't think there was, no. So then we, we just go and play our game. So I'll just destroy you because you're annoying me. And um, we'll go and play our game. Shoot the targets to win. This is a relatively easy one, but not a guaranteed one. Oop, it is. We've got hip holster, though. I kind of forgot we had that. Okay. <laughs> I can't believe how much I just whiffed that shot. Got him. I should not have whiffed that last shot then. Damn it. Okay, we've still got a red chest though. And we got the thunderclap. We're getting a lot of guns, unfortunately. We just really don't need that right now. But let's uh let's 
pop on this guy and see what we can do. Still, yet again, this boss could end up hitting us quite easily. We only have one blank. It's not exactly an easy boss just because we have a high damage weapon. It's just about keeping our distance, I think. Gonna blank that. Unfortunately, my blank didn't reach the other side of the room there, so it didn't manage to blank that bit, but... This dude. He moves too quick. You're too fast, my dude. You're too fast. Another thing unlocked. More HP and the best thing here. Ammo. I can't remember what this other item does. Show me the other item. Table tech speed. Okay, that's fine. Uh, right. Then we carry on going. Uh, grab some HP real quick. Sadly, the floor didn't quite uh, pan out how I wanted to, but we got ammo at the end of it and we're alive. So, not that bad. Uh, but this this is uh, going to be a rather speedy run. Uh, I'm not guaranteeing that we win at all, because all it takes is us not getting ammo for an extended period of time to kill us at the minute. That's all it takes, really. We still have a lot of stuff to back us up, but I'm not I'm not counting on that the same way I'm counting on this. Because the way I'm counting on this is quite a bit different. Because this thing is the best thing to exist. Fear the cube. It gets to fear the cube. Okay. Chest there. This is a good room for us. Because it's one of my rooms that has drops in it. These rooms aren't particularly that hard anymore. They just a bit take a bit longer. And like I said, because they take longer, you get rewards for doing them. And also that ammo won't disappear because it's placed. So we can leave this ammo here. So this is a very, very good room, in fact. This is a very OP room for us to find. Very rare, though. The, these, these rooms that give you a lot of drops, I made them quite rare. Just so they're not tedious to go through, but also so that the drops don't influence you winning a run too often. Or influence you doing better than you should otherwise do. Yeah. Any more for any more? Grab that real quick. But yeah, those, those two ammo drops will stay there, so we can just leave them for when we need them. So at the, at the minute, our ammo levels are pretty guaranteed. God damn it, you managed to get away, you fuck. I've wasted like two seconds of my time. I can't believe you. Bit of a dumb hit there for me. Where's this? Where's this skull? Oh, it's there. Good, good. Is that it? Wow, this is a big room. Big room. Did not expect that much resistance there. Good, good. Ah, oh, this is just a cakewalk. It's great. We're seeing new stuff and it's just like, nope, it's dead. Whoa, what the hell's that thing? I wish we could find out. <laughs> but it's dead. Right. Boss time. Still got plenty of HP. Still got keys. We want to make our way around to other stuff first. More ammo. <laughs> so ammo wouldn't have been a problem this floor anyways. Got you. Okay, everything on the floor is going to have glitched bullets from now on. Good, good. Extra green chest. Cruller's Glaive. Not exactly great for us right now, but I'll take it. Don't know what that thing did, but it's dead. I think when it dies, it jams things, maybe, by the looks of it. It tried jamming a gummy that was turning into a corpse. I mean, it already is a corpse, but more of a corpse than normal. These aren't gummies anyways. These are spent. What am I about? More ammo. Holy hell. Got a glitchy boy. Good, good. An extra blank as well. Um, do uh, we, We've seen both of our chests. Roll bombs, yes. With a synergy. This is going to win us our run, guys. Don't worry. Don't worry, guys. 
This is this has got us the win. We haven't found our shop yet either, so let's go and find that real quick. Will be the room after this one. There you go. Pretty easy room there as well. We have ourselves the long sword shot. Again, though, yet another item that we can't quite afford. I guess I'll just grab this and open up our chest. Another gun. This is just too many guns for a run where we're only using one gun. Far too many. Okay, so this is definitely one that we won't be able to get a flawless on. Okay, we got one blank left. Uh, actually, there's a chance. It's a small chance, but there's a chance. Yeah, there you go. I lost it right at the very end. I just knew that if I if I had to face that attack, I'd, I was going to have some problems. We got the Gunslinger's Emblem. Can't remember what, exactly what that does. Um, let's have a little look-see. Uh, serves as a helpful buff for Gunslinger-class warriors. Is this, isn't this where you get like extra damage bonuses based on how, how many synergies you have or something? It's something like that. Right. Anyway, sadly no flawless. I that would have that would have made things a lot easier for us had we had gotten that. Um but we didn't. So let's move on. But as you can see, so far, so fucking good. Um I think if we wanna if we wanna win against Dragon, we're gonna need a little bit more. Like defensive wise, but we'll see what we end up getting. We shall see. That guy has a lot of health. <laughs> it took me like 0.2 of a second to kill him. And I'm like, wow, that guy's healthy. <laughs> okay, good. Any more for any more? Stop aim assisting onto the fucking cube, you dumbass. <laughs> God damn it, game. Oh, watch this. This thing doesn't have DPS cap. Lol. <laughs> when you try so hard, but you don't succeed, right? Yeah, another gun. Uh, let's just extend this ammo a little bit, shall we? Might be able to get an extra room out of it. No, we need to cross the threshold, I think. Nope. We need to actually go into the other room. There you go. Any more for any more? We've got some wispy boys in here. Oh, we got ammo anyways. Sadly, that other ammo is not going to matter at all to us anymore. Good, good. Wow. <laughs> Rooms are just over in like 0.1 of a second. It's great. Oh, you survived. Okay. Boy, some of these enemies are healthy. Some of these, some of these new ones. Suppose it makes sense. Not many high health uh, enemies in the game already, so why not? Oh, I didn't realize that was a trap at first. Why did I blank that? It was so dumb. Um... I'm not sure I like this. Combat in these rooms seems a bit weird. I can't fucking see where anything is. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I'm not sure I like having combat in rooms with these traps. I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe it's fine. Maybe I'm just being overdramatic. Probably. Probably that more than anything else. Good. Let's keep it going. Good, good. Definitely need a little bit more ammo coming up soon. Synergy, maybe? Witch Pistol. Had that offered to us earlier. I'm surprised Witch Pistol and Bundle of Wands doesn't synergize to create something. Yeah, sa sadly we desperately need ammo before we fight our boss. Okay, 
A bit of extra health. That's nice. There's ammo. That's great to see. Um, turkey would also be pretty good, right? I think we take turkey. Because now every, every one in three shots we hit doesn't consume ammo. So it technically gives us a third more ammo. Honestly, what am I doing? Why, why am I doing extra rooms? What's even the point? Uh, I suppose that's that, that's the point. <laughs> and we do have an extra chest as well, so why the hell not? As long as I don't get hit, it's worth it. Oh, hello. That's a little blobby boy. Left a little blobby boy behind. Good, good. Good, good. One last room. Kind of an annoying room, actually, because the mountain cubes, or whatever you want to call these, lead cubes, can be real frustrating to deal with. Especially when an enemy gets stuck on them. Okay, good. Sadly, not very good for us. Uh, yeah. I mean, I guess I'll take it, but it doesn't actually matter. Right, grab this. And let's do it. We should have enough ammo to kill this guy. I'm, I'm mainly worried about our defense. We don't have any extra defensive items in here, do we? No. We, don't, we only have one blank, which is pretty bad. We'll see. Okay, we'll just see how this goes. I'm not going to be super ammo conservative here, but I will try and conserve some ammo. Yeah, that attack's of course going to hit us. Okay, dokey. I'm going to blank that. Yeah, that was a perfect, perfect blank that. Oh shit, we are running out of ammo real rapidly actually. A bit more rapidly than I expected. Now we can't blank this attack, which will hit us multiple times. Okay, good. We should have enough ammo to one burst the, the heart, I think. What's our backup just in case? Um, we've actually not got very good guns. I guess Bundle of Wands is our backup. we got to remember that 80 ammo does last a little longer than we traditionally expect it to. Yeah, sadly, not quite enough. 35 bullets should do it, though. Also, being able to blank, like, bullets behind us with the with our raw bombs. Working out pretty well. There you go. Possibly the easiest win you will ever see on Enter the Gungeon hard mode. We basically didn't try. From the first floor onwards... It was the biggest piece of piss I've ever seen in my life. Hard mode can be basically completely neutralized if you grab yourself a Gunda Fury. That's all it takes, boys. That's all it takes. Gunda Fury, you are too, too powerful. <laughs> the gun is just too good. I mean, it has to rely on you getting good ammo drops, which we did get, but even still, that thing's nuts. <laughs> Either way, I hope you guys thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed me just demolishing this game. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next one.